Welcome! In this video I'm going to be going through the initial setup on an AWOW AK-34 mini PC. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So in a previous video I did an unboxing and a partial teardown of this computer. I'll put a link below to that video. So I plugged in HDMI, I plugged in power, connected a keyboard and mouse, and I booted it, and it came up to this screen. It says continue in selected language, so I'll choose yes. It says, let's start with a region. Is this right? And it chose United States, and that is correct. I'll hit yes. It asks, is this the right keyboard layout? US. I'll hit yes. If I want to add a second layout, I'll say skip. Wants to connect me to a network. I'll choose one of my Wi Fi networks. It says, do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on the network? We recommend allowing this on your home and work networks, not public ones. I'll say no here. I don't need this to be discoverable right now. I can always change that later. I'll hit next. It's going through the setup now. It wants me to accept the license agreement. I'll hit accept. It says let's add your account. So I'll sign in with that. It's asking for a password. I'll hit next. It says create pin. So here it wants me to enter a pin. So I'm going to say include letters and symbols. I essentially treat the pin like a password. I'll hit OK. So these are the privacy settings. I'm going to turn all of these off. There may be some of these you want to leave on, like Find My Device would be handy, especially if you have a laptop. And if you would potentially lose it, you'd want that on so you could find it. And then you could have location data on to see weather. But I'm just going to turn these off now. I can always turn them back on later. I'll hit Accept. This says Customize Your Device. So I could check this off for gaming, creativity, family, schoolwork, entertainment, and business. So I'm going to skip this for now. It says use your Android phone from your PC. I'll say no thanks. It says back up your files with OneDrive. On the lower left it says only save files to this PC. I'll select that. It says claim your free trial of Microsoft 365. I'll say no thanks here. It says let Cortana help you get things done. I'll say not now. It says we're getting everything ready for you. Okay, we're booted to our desktop. It says browse the web with Microsoft Edge. I'll click get started. I'm not sure what this is going to do. It says sync browser data across your devices. I'll say no on that. I'll hit confirm. It says improve personalization of advertising search news. I'll say no. I'll close this. So we're booted to the desktop now. Now there may be updates to install. I'm guessing most of those updates won't affect performance a lot, so I'm going to try and run some benchmarks here. So I'll download Crystal Disk Mark. So it's been a while since I've downloaded this, and I'm not sure if this is the correct site. There were a lot of ads on it, which may be the case, but I'll just type wiki in front of the name here. That'll bring up the Wikipedia page. And then I can go down here to website, and it looks like that was the correct website. Well, Wikipedia tends to have the correct websites to download things. I was a little thrown off by this big ad here, though. I think this is the download button. You have to be careful with those sites because the ads can look like download buttons. Okay, so I have Crystal Disk Mark here. I'll open it up. I'll go through this install. Okay, so I'm going to choose the C disk. I'll hit All. And we'll run a benchmark on this and see how fast the internal SSD is. Okay, so the benchmark is finished here. I think we're getting pretty decent numbers out of this. We have 531 megabytes per second read and 459 write for the sequential. I'd be concerned if that was around the 200 to 250 megabytes per second. So I wouldn't rush out to swap this out with a different brand or anything. I think this is decent performance for a budget PC. Okay, so I'm connected up to Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to do a network speed test to see how fast the Wi-Fi is on this computer. So I have a speed test set up on my network. I'll run it. So we're getting around 460 megabits per second and 170. So we got about 470 download. Oh, and it's creeping up there a little bit to about 250 upload. So that's not bad for a budget PC. If this had a Wi-Fi 6 card in it, you could potentially get higher speeds out of that. My Wi-Fi network is capable of reaching gigabit or near gigabit speeds. Of course, that is Wi-Fi. If you wanted faster, you just plug this into the network. I'll go to settings here and we'll look at the info. 
So here it says we have a Celeron N3450 at 1.10 gigahertz. Installed RAM is six gigabytes, and that is not upgradable. And of course we have Windows 10 installed. So let's check and see if this will run Windows 11. Okay, so I have the Windows PC Health Checker. I'll accept the license agreement. I'll install it. It says introducing Windows 11. I'll hit check now. And it says this PC cannot run Windows 11. The processor isn't supported for Windows 11. While this PC doesn't meet the system requirements to run Windows 11, you can keep getting Windows 10 updates. So this computer does not support Windows 11 according to this. Now that could change as they tweak things. As I said in my previous video, I'm going to be using this for a network router, and this will most likely support that perfectly fine for many years to come. So now I want to do a benchmark on here. I'll download Geekbench. I'll install this. Okay, so I'll run the benchmark. Okay, we got a Geekbench score of 1247. I'll scroll down through here so you can see this other information here. Lastly, I'll run a web benchmark. Okay, so here I have a web benchmark. I'll start it. So while this is running the benchmark here, I do have this plugged into a kilowatt power meter, and it's drawing it was around 14 watts there. Now it's going up and down depending on the benchmark and how much CPU it's using, but it peaked out at about 14 watts. Okay, that finished. It says no null, null using no null, null with no null, null score. That's interesting. It's a 203.99. So that's the initial setup and some benchmarking of the AWOW AK34 Mini PC. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.